So, two games, two wins. Made hard work of this one though, but in the end, 1-4-2. I thought, I think looking at the game, we had loads of chances, we had a lot of the ball, and, and I think we should win the game comfortably. And we do in the end, um, but we do make hard work for it. I think we made just some bad mistakes that we haven't seen this season, even as early in pre-season, we've made changes. Um, and I think the goals that we we ultimately consider poor goals, and ones that we'll speak about on training on Monday night to make sure that we rectify them, but the goals we did score and the, the build-up we played we did was great. Um, and it shows you persistence and quality will always shine through. And I think we didn't change the style of play we didn't do and we kept on doing the right things, kept on creating as much width as we could. And in the end, Subbies came into the game and, and played a, a big part of it. And as I said to the guys in the dressing room, a team effort will win us something this season. It's a team. It's not individual players. There'll be moments of magic um, and that's going to be a given. But you need team players to come in and just take advantage of it. And I thought Subbies were excellent. So, um, three points. Big three points and it's tough for us to come. They work hard, they've got some good quality, but I think we're worthy winners in the end. Arguably, you have complaints about the Kennaway first goal. The game was stopped in the first half for, for a head knock with us in possession of the ball in attacking position. Same thing happened to Sam in the, in the box that the referee waved play on and they went on and scored. Yeah, I thought it was. Um, I obviously got to be careful to say about officials, but I thought it was quite a poor decision. You could see it was an identical situation for the first half, and the whole game had stopped um, because we're all waiting for it to be stopped because there's a head or a back of a neck a knock. So um, it's disappointing. We should probably defend it. We've had two or three chances still to, to stop the ball from going in the goal. Um, but it's the character they've shown after that, um, bit between the teeth, the intensity, the urgency stepped up, and the quality was shown. And um, let's say, I think sometimes you need to see and test character. And we knew for the guys who have came in, we know this squad has got a lot of character. But it's another season, and in this season, this is a good learning curve for us to go and concede a couple of goals and see what we're all about. And to be fair, as I said, um, we could have scored a barrel load today, and we probably should have. And um, we were saying last week, so. Bits of the puzzle still to put together, but two victories, um, three goals last week, four this week. We've got to take that and we want something to build on. Um, and there's a lot of positives we can take from a day's game. So uh, I'm content, I'm pretty happy with it to be honest, because this is a place people will come to a lot um, mid-season. It'd be difficult to break them down because they're a good team and they'll get stronger. So fair play to, to Kenway. You mentioned character. Uh, I think Pat Martin. He's the epitome of that, really. He's, he's not had a lot of luck recently, but came on, changed the game. Yeah, I thought he was excellent when he came into the game, I think. Um, he's been working hard in training, he's been doing all the right things. Um, and I think to come on and just look as composed as he did, he was a, he was a nuisance for them, but yet he shows the quality that he's got when he's in front of goal. And the volley from the corner is a fantastic goal. It's a great finish. Um, and I'm delighted for him, and I'm, I'm hoping now that he can now progress and push himself on um, because when he's in that sort of form he's brilliant to watch um, and Robert Urquhart coming into the game as well he was superb really really good uh, and Paddy as well um, steadied the ship in the middle won battles and he was a force in both boxes so as I said it's a team effort and these three subbies came into the game made a, made a huge impact on it um, and I'm delighted for them because um, you come into a game it's been fast and furious at times and they've got themselves up to speed, got themselves focused and they've done exactly what we asked them to do. Um, so yeah, great three points. The the guys that came on obviously give you problems now going into next week's game against Kiri Mule when you think, again, today was a, an unchanged team but gives you problems for next week. Yeah, and these are the problems that I'm happy, I'll happily take all season when you've got guys coming into the park that are putting in fantastic performances. So for us, we'll let's have a look and see what the week, um, how it progresses with training, make sure there's no niggles or knocks as we gear up for our next challenge, which will be Kerry at home. So um, a good position to be in, having guys coming into games and having such a big impact. And it's certainly food for thought for us in terms of preparation and what we need to do for next week. But every game will be setting ourselves up in a similar way. But we need to make sure we've got the right guys on the park. So that'll be up to the guys um, during the week to make sure they do the right things to give themselves every opportunity to play on Saturday. Um, but two victories, um, hope back home next week uh, and we'll go again. So yeah, it's a, it's a good Saturday again. Finally, before we go, who's your man of the match? For me, by a country mile, Jamie Winter. I thought he was the best player in the park. Um, the whole bit, 
the whole game. He was digging, he was winning challenges, he was winning headers, and his uh, he's quality that he's got opens games up. And I thought he was exceptional today for the whole game, and I think he was the most consistent performance um, for most of the game. So, yeah, Jamie Winters, man of the match today.